when does consciousness enter the body during embryo development? So if, uh, this is so important. Two things which are kind of very important that we see in modern science, which are now reflecting a spiritual underpinning to reality are in physics, quantum, and in neuroscience or in life science, consciousness. Now this issue is this, the reason why physics is struggling is because it does not want to, you know, in a way embrace the idea of, of consciousness and no, it's, it's, it's a fluff in the brain, kind of, you know, kind of fuzz in the brain, chemical and, you know, electrical activity creating a fuzz that gives the idea of consciousness. There's no such thing. Daniel Dennett writes books and books saying it's just a mismatch between the hardware and the software of your brain. There's no such reality. It's just an illusion. This is what we call consciousness. And modern science is struggling with the idea of consciousness because when you look at neuroscience and you try and explain what is consciousness, which slice of the brain, they say we have no clue. What it is, we have no clue. Where it comes from, they say we have no clue. No slice of the brain say, ah, this is where consciousness is there. There's no slice of the brain. It seems to be everywhere and nowhere. This is very worrying because the neuroscientists will say we understand there's something called consciousness, but we can't locate it, we don't know which slice of the brain. So when you're asking when an embryo is being formed, where does the consciousness enter? It's kind of yee, like a little stream, kind of yee, well, let me enter, the, enter this embryo, it's nothing like that. Consciousness is a very underpinning to reality. When an embryo is formed or a living thing is formed, not only just human, any living thing is formed, the, the thing that is underpinning tries to express itself and it expresses itself as consciousness in a way seeping through, it's already there. So it's not something that's entering, but it becomes visible in living things, including even single cell being. It appears as power of cognition, it's aware, aware of its existence. This awareness is the beginning of the signal there is something more to us than matter. So it is not that consciousness you know, goes into your embryo or your brain, it is underpinning to reality. It's just that is the physical brain or this living thing in a way allows it to get a glimpse through, kind of allows it to come through, pop through. That is how it becomes visible in all living things. It doesn't kind of enter like that. It is the underpinning to reality. You see, this is a beautiful thing in our tradition. We say underpinning to reality we call Brahman. In the nearest handle we have of this word, this phenomena called Brahman, the three words we say is, gives the best handle are it is of the nature of asti, of existence itself, it is of the nature of bhati, consciousness, and of the nature of priya, of, if you like, bliss. So underpinning this reality is you know, basically existence, consciousness, and bliss. And when it becomes visible through the human frame or through a living frame, the nearest three words we use are of the nature of existence, consciousness, and of bliss. This is why consciousness is not a minor phenomena that pops out when human beings appear on earth, Consciousness is the very, uh, very underpinning to creation, even when the Big Bang takes place, is in the realm of consciousness. So it's not that consciousness there to wait, oh, human being, I let me pop out. It's already in the realm of uh, reality. It only because, you know, it gets access to this physical frame when a human being can open, ah, oh, look around. It's already underpinning to reality. And people like Stephen Hawking, etc., make fun of consciousness, but they are not recognized, not something that is pours out of a living thing, it is something which underpins all living things and just finds a manifestation when a living thing cannot see you. So it's not something that in a way is a, is, is a product of brain. It is something that, that it requires a brain to express itself. That's the best way to say it.